In this live training, I want to cover the various clear commands within ProPresenter. You can clear certain layers individually, or you can clear all of the screen all at once. Uh, ProPresenter uses layers to present information on screen. We can use the clear functions to clear only those layers that we want uh, one at a time. And I want to show you a little bit more about that now. So here we are in ProPresenter 7, and we can see all of our clear commands over here to the side. Now, let's say I had a slide open um, such as this one. As I triggered that slide, it did show on our front screen, but it also lit up this little slide, this clear slide button. We could use uh, just to click right on it to clear the slide right off our screen. The other option is I could hit this X, uh, which is the longer bar. It's a clear all. It's actually a clear all group, um, but we can clear that as well. There may be other elements that are just a slide. Let's see if I can find one. Um, I don't want to go something full screen because it'll actually mess up our recording here. Um, let's let's try this one here. Um, this is a lower third. Um, it includes some text and a visual like a graphic. Um, and you can see this one actually lit up two different layers. I could clear each of those layers independently or I could clear them all at once. And so we can clear all at once. Let's take a look at what makes all of that happen. So I'm going to open up my web browser here and I'm on Renewed Visions website. And uh, uh, under the ProPresenter uh, features, they have this great uh, explanation of how these slides are being displayed on your screen. The lowest layer um, gets hidden by the layer above it, and the layer above it, and it, and it, and it. And so each of these layers being stacked like that allows for you to have a lot of flexibility in what you are displaying on screen. Um, we also can create custom looks utilizing these layers in various ways. But just know you can clear those all in certain um, order or independently, uh, however you'd like. Let's jump back into ProPresenter here and take a look at the clear all option. If I were to right click on this, I can add a group of clears. And so uh, I'm gonna bring this menu up in here for you. And here you can see all the same layers we were just looking at on ProPresenter's website. Um, and a clear group can have very specific things. So I'm gonna make a new group and we're just gonna call this example. And I'd say when I click on this particular group, I want it to clear my um, announcements layer. I want it to clear my um, music layer and I want it to clear my video input. Now we don't use hardly any of those in our services but just know you can have it identify very specific layers to clear. Um, and you can also give a little icon for this if you want. So I'm going to make it this little sunglasses. All right, so now I've got a clear group. And if any of those items were open, I could clear that group. I'm just going to put a slide up here and see that um, none of the items that were related to the group are actually being displayed right now. And so there's nothing to clear. If I hit this button, it's not clearing my display because nothing in that group is relevant at this time. My clear all is still here. And so that's available. Um, but and it, most of our campuses, all we're ever going to have is the clear all. But I did want to show you that we have an option to create groups. And I can remove that right now just by deleting it since it doesn't apply to um, the function that we use here at Mercy Hill. Uh, hopefully having an idea of how the clear functions work and also even seeing a little bit about the layers might help you understand a little bit more about operating ProPresenter. If you have questions about this, please leave some comments and I'd be happy to respond. And thanks for checking us out.